Question number 13, we have one of the topics new to this specification relating to the refraction of light. So we have an incident ray that is uh, passing from medium one into medium two. Some of it is being refracted. Some of it uh, is being reflected. It is striking at an angle, incident angle of theta. Which of these statements is true? Statement number one, the refracted light and the incident light have the same wavelength. Well, we know from the equation V equals F lambda, where V is the speed of the wave, F is the frequency, and lambda is the wavelength. We know that the frequency of a wave ne never changes. Okay, so that is a constant. And we know that when a wave moves from one medium to another, it changes speed. So V is changing, but F is constant. That means that lambda must be changing. The wavelength must be changing. So this statement, statement one, is incorrect. Number two, the speed of light in medium two is greater than the speed of light in medium one. Well, the, it certainly is changing speed. If the speed in medium two is greater, that causes the angle to get greater. Statement two, the speed of light in medium two is greater than the speed of light in medium one. Well, if the speed increases, that causes an increase uh, in the angle, which you can see here is larger than theta. Uh, so that's true. The ray has got faster. Uh, number three, the angle theta is the critical angle. Well, the critical angle would be the angle at which all of the light is just reflected and there would be no refraction. Well, we can see that we have some refraction, so it certainly can't be the critical angle, which leaves us with only two is correct. Therefore, D is our correct answer. Thank you for watching this video from Cowan Physics. If you found it useful, please like, subscribe, and visit cowanphysics.com.